Israeli security forces carried out extensive searches overnight in pursuit of 20-year-old Omar Abu Leila, the terrorist who killed two Jews and seriously injured a third in an attack at two traffic junctions near the city of Ariel in Samaria on Sunday. IDF soldiers, the Shin Bet, and Israeli border police surveyed the terrorist's home for possible demolition, arrested his 16-year-old brother, and interrogated his father. According to the Ynet news site, the terrorist gave no signs on social media that he planned to carry out an attack. Rabbi Achiad Ettinger, the second victim to die in the Samaria attack outside Ariel, passed away Monday morning from his wounds. The rabbi, in a heroic act, turned back to the site of the shooting to try and stop the terrorist, but was killed in the attempt. Ettinger drew his weapon and was about to fire at the terrorist when Ettinger was struck in the head by bullets. He leaves behind a wife and 12 children. Right-wing leaders blasted the Israeli High Court's decision to ban Otsma Yehudit candidate Michael Ben-Ari from participating in the Knesset election scheduled for April 9th. Justice Minister Ayala Chaked charged the court on Tuesday of turning itself into a political actor, contradicting the will of the voters. It's the last straw for the High Court's justices, she said. The court's decision is a massive and mistaken intervention that goes to the heart of Israeli democracy. The court disqualified Ben-Ari in an 8-to-1 ruling on Monday. Jewish and Muslim activists and Democratic Congresswoman Ilhan Omar's home district in Minnesota came together to denounce the Congresswoman's controversial remarks about Israel and Jews, CNN reported on Sunday. Omar has come under criticism over the last few months for anti-Semitic comments regarding Israel and its U.S. supporters. We wanted to show her how what she said was consistent with the statements of anti-Semites and anti-Semitism over time. One of the local Minnesota leaders told CNN, it's unfortunate and almost in the classical sense tragic because she has the capability of being an important bridge builder 